Hello and welcome to this edition of Inside Indiana Business. I'm Gary Dick coming to you this week from my home here in Indianapolis. This week, my wife tested positive for the coronavirus. She is fine, showing no symptoms, doing very well. I'm showing no symptoms as well. But out of an abundance of caution for our studio crew and others, we've decided to uh, tape this week's show from my home. And we have another great show for you, and that includes our top story. A $300 million investment by Lanco Animal Health, really one of the biggest economic development deals in memory, will transform the former General Motors stamping plant site in downtown Indianapolis along the White River into a 45-acre global headquarters campus. Now, the deal was more than a year in the making and has significant implications for Indianapolis and multiple locations around the state. For some perspective on how and why it happened and what's next, I'm pleased, as always, to be joined by Elanco President and CEO Jeff Simmons. Jeff, welcome to the program. Great, great to be here, Gary. This again, uh, a highly anticipated deal, a big deal for uh, Indiana. Uh, all indications that we we're receiving, it got down to Indianapolis and Kansas, Kansas City for that uh, that final decision. Jeff, as you look at it, when it, all, everything you blow all the smoke away, what were really the deciding factors? in choosing Indianapolis and Indiana for this big investment? Yeah, well, without question, we've got, uh, we're coming up on uh, seven full decades of history here as uh, mostly a, a division of Eli Lilly and company. And so Indiana has been our home and that's a big part of this. But I think as we uh, really a credit to Governor Holcomb and Secretary Schillinger, as well as Mayor Hogsett, their offices, their teams, um, Indiana truly, um, made uh, all efforts to make this very, very easy for us in terms of this being the ideal place. And then, yes, the location, moving into Indianapolis, when we think about talent capabilities, we can talk about what we want from this campus. It excites us to move to the west side of the river in the city as well and be part of that community. So a lot of things coming together and bigger partners like Purdue and Agrinovis as well. Yeah, you mentioned that, uh, the city and state uh, heavy involvement, of course. How about that involvement by Purdue? How important to have that world-class uh, ag institution and tech institution uh, on board in this project? Yeah, I mean, what Mitch Daniels and Purdue University are doing are we, we look globally at academics, research, the talent. We hire a lot of Purdue talent. Um, they're, they're out on the forefront in all regards, and so a tremendous um, you know, collaboration effort. We've had a long history with Purdue and we'll continue that and a lot of alumni even in our leadership. You know, I think Gary, the other big driver here is as we look at this campus and we think about what we want to do, you know, a lot of this was driven by a significant transformation in Elanco. We're 67 years old as a company. We've spun out of Eli Lilly the last couple of years, become a New York Stock Exchange independent company, quickly then acquired Bayer. And so really since 2007, we're we're four times bigger. We're in 19 species of animals, um, where back when I started, it was you know cattle and pigs and poultry. We're very big in pets. We're big in retail and through the vet clinics. So the complexity of this really made us have to look at a campus of the future. And Purdue will play a role in that, but that campus of the future has to be one that ideates, that collaborates, that creates innovation. Um, and we did a you know, post-COVID uh, work study as well to look at what our needs are. And then to be able to bring partners in. It has to become a destination. Ultimately, our bigger vision is that on the west side of that river in Indianapolis on this, uh, on this campus, we want to create an a epicenter that actually for the 19 species of animals and the health and the well-being of those animals, we create the innovation and the history we've had, manufacturing, as well as new capabilities, artificial intelligence, the microbiome, some of the research, as well as even the digital the ability to reach and be the bridge to over 100 countries and uh, the, the multitude of animals that we serve. Very ambitious uh, plan, certainly, and it extends beyond Indianapolis. I know your major manufacturing operations in Clinton are part of the investment uh, announcement, and you're also looking at research and development uh, operations going forward as well, focused, uh, centered here in Indiana. Yeah, that's correct. A long history. We've got uh, facilities in Clinton and Terre Haute um, and uh, in downtown Indianapolis some. So the goal now is to actually create and, you know, as we look at, you know, the post-COVID work environment, just completed a future of work study. And I think this is important, uh, Gary, as we look, is we want something 
that is smaller, that is smarter, but has a campus feel. It's a destination. A study of our global employees say that a 70% of our employees don't expect to be in the office every day. We need an open collaborative environment that, that creates um, you know, the ability to, to be a destination for our global employees. The other thing we've noticed is with COVID, you know, the floodgates are open on talent. With a more virtual world, but a great destination like Indianapolis, you can attract talent now, we believe, at another level. And so our ability now to be one of the top attractors of talent, animal health is a very hot space right now. And we believe life sciences and the history of the ag bioscience bio that Indiana brings, this brings a big opportunity to bring another level of talent into Elanco as well as into Indiana. A major deal for Elanco and for Indiana, of course. Uh, Elanco CEO Jeff Simmons, great to see you as always. I know we'll be talking a lot more with you about this going forward. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Gary. Be safe. All right, you too.